we always like to kind of start with where we end. So let's show this part. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 49, Listen Part 3. In today's episode, we reflected it would be nice to develop what we're calling Extract 1. It would be nice to develop it in depth. Um, we're also remembering some comments we got from you all about, hey, you're composing from a spreadsheet, and we realize that that is what we are calling hybrid technology, using multiple technologies in a blended, adjustable way to get your overall purpose done. And our theme is listen, because we are still listening to where this music, this C2552 music wants to go. And what do we mean by where it wants to go? We mean, well, it's the music in our head, which is both memory and emotion based. Both memory and emotion based, but it's also theory and thinking based because that's what we're doing. We're using theory as well. Uh, another thing that we reflected, especially because of our other projects where we're making presentations and presentation proposals, if you really want to know if you learn something, try explaining it. And that's why we so much appreciate when you guys ask, what are you doing? Because that helps us do that. Uh, today we looked at the extract two and we looked at the cadence sequences and the uh, energy and we uh, tightened it up and we added some labels. This is, uh, and we added a whole polyphon line. Let's show you that polyphon line to make sure all of them are differentiated. So we're going to play extract two for you now. Here we go. And what we did with that is we identified that we have six sections, A, B, C, D, E, F, and each section has a certain number of bars duration, ranging from eight bars to 16 bars, and each has an associated ending energy. We have uh, three rests, two clashes, and an urge. And if we talk about energy stories, we can always take an urge and go to a rest. We can always take a clash and go to a rest if we're trying to resolve. And we could do what we just did here. We ended on um, ended on urge here. If we want to leave us hanging and go into something else, so that was our work with extract two. We then also worked with extract one. Um, we added here. It is extract one. We went ahead and took the melody, the slow melody at the beginning, what we call part one, and reprised it, repeated it at the very end as part three, and then used the fast melody in the middle. And we feel like it really does well. Uh, we're going to play that for you. And then we also started looking at animating extract one. Uh, we started with this version in the magic animator. Let's just play a little bit of this for you. You can see we exported the MP3 All Melody and Harmony, we exported the M MIDI All Melody and Harmony. But as you know, what we do in these, we usually just play the MP3 All and then we use the other uh, files in order to drive visuals. At the moment, all we're doing is doing a very simple um, timbre spectrum and a waveform spectrum, which looks like this.
so that got started. The thing that we're really pleased with is looking at what is called the MIDI pitch wheel view of that very same composition. So we're going to play that for you in its entirety, and then that'll take us home. So here we go in its entirety. This is extract one. Slow, fast, slow. So that concludes today's stream. What we really like about this pitch wheel animation is uh, the way this thing is organized is each note is a seven half steps away or what they call the, the wheel of fifths. But you can see that we're using a scale of uh, eight notes. And depending on where we are in the piece, the different uh, slices the pie that's the root c and then there's the whatever note that is so here this there's there's three notes you can hear that nice na -da, na -da. And, then, da -da -da. and there's in five colors right there you visually see what you're feeling na -da, na -da, na -da. so we think that's going to be a very effective uh, visual animation to include. Um, our ideas for next time are to continue working with this extract one animation. Like we said, record the MIDI pitch wheel version. Also continue working with extract two. Then we had a very exciting um, query come up where we're working with this uh, animator about something called OpenGLISF shading. So we have identified something else for us to learn. So that concludes today's stream. Thank you for your participation, attention, curiosity, interest. Tune in next time to see what happens next with C2552 and where the music wants to take us. And as always, keep on streaming.